the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship, uh, three days of golf, St Andrews, Kings Barnes and Kernish, the combination of pro stars and of course a huge list of celebrities. Being able to catch up with them today, how was your out today in Vladimir? My day was amazing, so the weather is perfect, it's warm, not too rainy, I could play better, but uh, it's a process, you know, it's a game of golf. So how was the round today for you? Uh, yeah, the round was okay, we finished minus 10, which is okay, didn't play the best, but seemed to score alright, so that's that's uh, more important, isn't it, what it says in the score sheet. Hey Brian, how did the golf go today for you? The golf was very good, uh, we were 900 as a team, but that really helps when your pro shoots 600, so we, we had a great day. The weather was fantastic today, I think we were all worried it was going to be rainy and windy, and then it looked perfect. So. We're very happy, we're 9 under, we're 2 off the lead I think, so it's a good place to be after day 1. Do you think changing the, the time from October to a couple of weeks before early September has helped? I don't think it makes a difference, to be honest with you, because you know, we've had years here where it's been hotter in the summer, and then we've had you know, summers where it's wetter than now, so it, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. So Bill, it's the sixth time taking part here at the Dunhill Lynx Championship. Why is it you keep coming back? Well, I guess the place, you know, it's the place. We play these three fantastic courses, and uh, there's a bunch of characters yeah. when you come here. There's a bunch of characters, both the players and the, the townsfolk are, 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 are knuckleheads. There's a lot of, there's a lot of reasons. Second time you've been here to St Andrews. It's my third time. Third time, sir. Third time. How, how is it progressing every time you come back? Every time I'm progressing. The progress is kind of slow, but it's enjoyable. And tomorrow and next you've got two more hard courses to go. Do you feel this is the hardest one done first, or do you feel Carnoustie or Kings Barnes will be well, more they're, difficult? They're, they're all different and they're all beautiful. Uh, this one is the mecca of golf, obviously. Uh, very, very nice feeling playing golf course. So it's very special, I would say. But as I said, all three courses are beautiful, designed, and they're great, great to play. You've, grand, you've mastered. Grandmaster of all the old course, you've got yeah. Kings Barnes, you've got Carnoustie to go. Any of them causing any concern? Yeah, Carnoustie always does. Carnoustie's always a panic. Um, I've got a different name for it, but I can't say it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can understand, obviously. The, the wind is the same, it's, if it's not a good day, it's not kind. I think even if there's no wind, it's still it's just a struggle. It's just it's just a beast, isn't it, really? You keep coming back, obviously, to Dunhill. What is it about the Dunhill that makes it so appealing for the likes of yourself? Ah, it's every amateur's dream to get the, the, the opportunity to play in the Dunhill links, you know, to get to watch the golfers that you, you get to watch. It's an amazing, an amazing thing. It's something that I look forward to from one year to the next, and hopefully I'll get invited back again, But because it, it is it is what you look forward to every year. How you get on with playing with the group today? Uh, yeah, we, we had a good energy. Um, it's a group group. I look forward to to the group of tomorrow and the day after and hopefully I'm going to get in the finals. Compared to the daytime job, how much is this from the relaxation for you to be able to come and do things like this? It's incredible, you know, this is the only time you can kind of live the life of a professional golfer. You know, you're here all week practicing, you're on the range, it's, it's just, you just feel like you're living the life of, of somebody who's a professional golfer. Just to get to do that for one week a year, it's amazing. After you've had the relaxation of playing the golf, what, what is it you're going to do when you go back to the daytime job? Once you finish doing this, well, I'm enjoying this time right now, and uh, look forward forward to the next year. Hopefully, I will be back. It's it's just all joy, you know. Life is beautiful. And, uh, you're out, Mike Miller, for today. How did that go? Unbelievable. You have to play with a living legend. To play with two pro golfers and a living legend it doesn't get any better than that. Three fantastic courses over three days that you have to play. Do you think one is easier than the other, or one is more difficult I, I, than the other? I think today St Andrews is playable. You know, I think St Andrews is very playable today. Obviously, Carnoustie, as everyone knows, is probably the hardest. Um, so hopefully, we'll get a bit of good weather when we go to Carnoustie tomorrow. You know, and get that out of the way. And I think if we finish minus ten in Carnoustie, we'd be pretty happy. How do you think you're going to progress? Obviously, in the tournament, that's two off the top. Uh, tomorrow is tomorrow is vital because I think Kings Barnes, you can score around Kings Barnes, you can score here. But Carnoustie is normally a struggle. We've shot, you know, we've shot. 20 under par between Kings Barnes and St Andrews and then gone out and shot over par in Carnoustie so all depends on tomorrow, tomorrow's the, the key. Is it St Andrews history? Is that something that helps with the decision making? It's just drooling the history. <laughs> yeah, no, the history of Tom Morris Old Tom is, is an amazing story, that book. They didn't do a great, uh, the, the book Tommy's Honor, it's a really extraordinary story of his life and, uh, 
and you can sort of feel it when you walk it. You walk it, you feel it. What it must have been like to do it with a rake and a shovel. And <laughs> uh, how did the, the group work out to do that? Yeah, that? We, 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 the team, we both finished team um, minus 10, so um, I, I played with Facundo Perez, who's the pretty much the, one of the best polo players in the world. Um, and he absolutely hits the ball like a professional. So um, I was definitely out of my depth watching the, him and, and the other two lads. So I was definitely the amateur in the group today. Last one for me to do with obviously the daytime job again. Um, what have you got planned for the next uh, six days? Got a, I've got an album coming out with Boys Life with Keith Duffy coming out in probably February. And then we start a, a 90 day theatre tour of the UK, February, March, April, May, all the way through next and, uh, year. Obviously, playing golf, not your, your, your main profession from there. How does it compare to? When you were on the um, uh, looks totally different than, than at least when you were when I was a jockey I could blame the horse you know I've got you know state of the art Callaway golf clubs so can't blame the golf clubs can you only the fella swinging them but done okay. Go today. I hit I hit a, I hit a couple good shots today. I hit a couple <laughs> good shots today. But my caddy kind of said okay I'll come back tomorrow. He's coming back tomorrow. Yeah, coming back tomorrow. It was a, it was a, it was up in the air until about thirteen or fourteen.